In the current landscape of naval equipment development worldwide, why is a Type 056 Sea Frigate tailored specifically for Cambodia garnered such widespread attention? What distinguishes it from the Type 056 of frigates used by the PLA Navy? The answer lies in the design philosophy and user requirements of the Type 056 series. When the Cambodian naval delegation stood on the pier of a northern Chinese shipyard, gazing at the newly outfitted frigate undergoing its final sea trials, they saw not merely a warship but a crucial milestone in the modernization of the Cambodian Navy. This new frigate, designated Type 056C, represents a significant upgrade in China's naval export model, shifting from simple equipment exports to tailored solutions for comprehensive combat capabilities. As an upgraded version of the Type 056 of frigates, currently in service with the Chinese Navy, the Type 056C retains the basic layout of its predecessor while implementing targeted enhancements in several critical areas. The most notable distinction lies in its radar system. The 056C features the Senior 2410C active phased array radar atop its island mast. This radar integrates a single-face rotating phased array, distributed solid-state transmit, receive technology, and full digital beamforming capability supported by an electronic stabilization platform. It represents a relatively advanced medium to short-range multifunctional three-coordinate radar. Compared to the HLJQ361 mechanical scan Doppler pulse search radar for surface, low-altitude targets mounted in the same position on the Type 056A, the Senior 2410C offers significantly greater range and higher precision in detecting and locking onto high-threat targets such as UAVs and sea-skimming anti-ship missiles, substantially enhancing the vessel's early warning capabilities. This radar can detect typical fighter aircraft targets at distances exceeding 250 kilometers and sea-skimming anti-ship missiles beyond 35 kilometers. It can simultaneously track over 100 targets and guide shipborne air defense weapons to intercept the most threatening. 46 targets. Displacement changes represent another key feature of the Type 056C. While the Type 056 a frigate has a full load displacement of approximately 1,440 tons, the Type 056C's displacement has increased to around 1,500-1,600 tons, with some analyses suggesting it may approach 1,800 tons. This tonnage increase not only enhances the hull's stability, and seaworthiness but also allows for greater fuel and supply capacity, significantly extending operational range. Consequently, the Cambodian Navy's activities are no longer confined to coastal waters. According to design specifications, the Type 056 Sea Frigate can achieve an endurance of 3,500 nautical miles at an economical speed of 15 knots with self-sufficiency exceeding 20 days and nights. This capability allows it to cover Cambodia's entire claimed exclusive economic zone and conduct prolonged patrols in disputed waters. For the Cambodian Navy, which has long relied on 200-ton patrol boats, vessels of this tonnage represent bona fide main combat ships. They will fundamentally transform the Navy's previously limited capability to conduct only coastal patrols. In terms of weaponry, the Type 056C incorporates both continuity and innovation. It retains the core weapon systems of the Type 056A, including the 76mm single-barrel main gun at the bow, two twin launchers for YJ-83J anti-ship missiles midship, an 8-cell HQ-10 air defense missile launcher on the stern platform, and two triple-tube 324mm anti-submarine torpedo launchers, and two six-tube 252mm rocket launchers under the aft bulkhead. However, the Type 056C exhibits significantly enhanced close-in defense capabilities. The begun platform now houses two Type 636-barrel 30mm close-in weapon systems, each sharing a simplified electro-optical infrared detection unit. This configuration replaces the two 14.5mm single-barrel heavy machine guns previously mounted on the hull sides of the Type 056 of frigate. This configuration substantially increases the interception probability against small targets, like high-speed boats and unmanned vessels while also significantly enhancing anti-air capabilities. Some commentators even suggest this firepower setup may be slightly excessive for the Cambodian Navy's requirements. Each 630-type close and weapon system boasts a rate of fire up to 3,000 rounds per minute with an effective range of 3.5 kilometers. Simultaneous firing from both guns creates a dense barrage in front of the vessel, 
achieving over 85% success in intercepting incoming missiles, a configuration that stands out among comparable vessels in Southeast Asia. It is worth noting that the Type 056C does not surpass the Type 056A in every aspect. Tailored to the Cambodian Navy's practical requirements, the Type 056C has reduced its anti-submarine warfare SW, capabilities. As a crucial component of the Chinese Navy's coastal SW network, the Type 056 is equipped with bow-mounted active, passive sonar and active, passive towed array sonar, making ASW its core strength. The Type 056C, however, eliminates advanced anti-submarine equipment like the towed sonar array. This is because the Cambodian Navy's primary missions currently involve coastal patrols, search and rescue operations, and protecting its economic zone there is no pressing need for anti-submarine warfare. This trade-off clearly reflects the differing strategic positioning and operational philosophies of the Chinese and Cambodian navies regarding their frigates. Nevertheless, the Type 056C retains a bow-mounted mid-frequency active, passive search and attack sonar, maintaining basic anti-submarine capabilities. It also preserves a helicopter landing platform capable of carrying the Z-9C anti-submarine helicopter for extended SW missions leaving room for future upgrades. The fundamental difference between the two variants stems from their distinct roles within their respective navies. Within the Chinese Navy's operational framework, the approximately 50 Type 056 of frigates are classified as fourth-tier vessels, primarily tasked with auxiliary duties such as coastal surveillance, patrols, fisheries protection, and anti-submarine warfare. Emphasis is placed on cost control and multi-mission adaptability. In contrast, the Type 056C serves as the Cambodian Navy's absolute, first-tier main combat vessel, forming the core of its entire fleet. This fundamental difference in role dictates divergent design philosophies. The Type 056C must possess independent capabilities for anti-ship, air defense, and anti-submarine warfare, demanding higher performance standards for its radar and onboard weapon systems. The estimated cost of the Type 056C ranges between $350 million and $400 million. While approximately 40% higher than the Type 056A, this price remains highly competitive in the international arms market given its role as a primary combat vessel. For Cambodia, whose naval capabilities remain relatively underdeveloped, the significance of the Type 056C frigate extends far beyond a single warship. The single-phase shield, active-phased array radar mounted on its island mass not only enables long-range target detection and lock-on but also functions as a command vessel for maritime task forces. It directs operations involving over 200 tons of artillery patrol boats, thereby multiplying overall combat effectiveness. This marks the first time the Cambodian Navy possesses capabilities for maritime assault, short-range air defense, and area denial, enhancing its nearshore defense and strategic deterrence. From a broader perspective, the commissioning of two Type 056 Sea frigates will help the Cambodian Navy overcome its tonnage limitations for combat vessels, achieving a leap in combat capability while also enhancing Cambodia's influence within ASEAN. Amidst Southeast Asian nations' naval buildup, this procurement ensures Cambodia avoids falling too far behind in the regional maritime power landscape. Regarding the Type 056B, publicly available information remains limited. Following China's naval naming conventions, letter designations typically follow sequential order without gaps, as seen in the 052B, 052C, and 052D destroyers. Theoretically, a 056B variant should exist between the 056 and 056C classes though it remains undisclosed. This could represent an experimental prototype not publicly revealed or a customized version for another foreign client that ultimately failed to materialize. Some analysts suggest the Type 056B may have been a planned test for a more advanced integrated electric propulsion system, abandoned due to technical risks and cost control considerations. Others speculate it could have been a variant designed for a Middle Eastern nation that failed to materialize due to budget constraints. While these theories await further verification, it is certain that China has established comprehensive technical reserves and extensive modification experience in the serial development of light frigates. With the first Type 056 Sea Frigate formally delivered to the Cambodian Navy and the second vessel still under construction at the shipyard, its imminent delivery is anticipated. This deployment will not only reshape Cambodia's naval capabilities, but also showcase a new model for Chinese naval exports, moving beyond mere equipment transfer to deliver tailored, integrated combat capabilities. Amidst the ongoing modernization of Southeast Asian navies, the introduction of the Type 056C frigate 
will provide Cambodia with reliable maritime defense capabilities while setting a new benchmark for China's naval exp.